David Pritchard Hunt with me today on the keyboards, who's one of Sydney's finest piano players and arrangers. I feel very privileged to have him with me. Um, we've got a whole array of songs. We can do a little bit of a Mexican flavour. So any, hopefully you're having Taco Tuesday or something on Wednesday tonight. Um, this first song was a huge hit for Bing Crosby. And we all hope you enjoy Swing on a Star. around with my dad to that one. It's a very sweet song. This song is from a musical, the next song is from a musical called Damn Yankees. And it's a song about baseballers. And not surprisingly, it never really came to Australia because we don't have any real baseball culture here. But this song has lived on from this musical and it's called Heart. And we're gonna do it as a cha-cha. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's showtime. We're going to sing a really beautiful, sensitive song. It's in this book. In this book. Uh, in this, yeah, sorry. We've got a few books, a few options. Um, this is Unforgettable. I think you might have it written just there. Is that it? There, I can see it here. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. So, I can't tell you how many weddings I've played at. Um, and this is always a requested song. It's one of those truly romantic songs about undying love. And of course, when everyone gets married, fingers crossed, it's going to be undying. Oh, got it. Got the, oh, yeah, got <laughs> Hope you enjoy Unforgettable. Oh, baby. 
singing since. So thank you, Julie, and thank you. Is it Oscar and Hammerstein who wrote? So. Um, Rogers, Rogers. And Ham Whoops, sorry. Rogers. <laughs> Rogers and Hammerstein who wrote the wonderful score of The Sound of Music. Okay, moving on. This is another song from a film, actually. Um, it's called On a Clear Day. And that one is 107 in that book. 107. 107 in that book. And your song is 107. So in that one, yep. Should be. Yes, there it is. Okay, so this one is from a movie called On a Clear Day, which was starring Barbara Streisand. And she played someone who was receiving psychiatric treatment. I think it was from someone, um, Yves Montan, someone bizarre, like you really wouldn't be going to for help. Um, but yes, so On a Clear Day is when she's able to think clearly and not feeling all caught up in her thoughts. And I know we have those days, so let's celebrate a beautiful clear day. around you and you'll see
He's having one on the piano. We usually do it on the keyboard, but we had all these crazy technical problems today. So we've gone back just to acoustic, piano and voice. I hope it's sounding okay wherever you are watching from. But it's so lovely to have you on board. Of course, this pandemic is driving us all nuts. We want to be giving concerts in the flesh. Hopefully, not too far off. Once we all get jabbed and things like that, we'll all be able to meet again. Um, okay, we're going to have a look at as time goes by, and that one's here. Um, this is such a beautiful song. You must remember this. So um, if I could hear you, I would run a competition as to what, what movie is this one from? I didn't realise all our songs seem to be from films today. Um, so I could say, Play it again, sorry. Mm -hmm. And that would be really embarrassing because I was trying to do a Humphrey Bogart impersonation. Um, so this is obviously from Casablanca um, and a very touching moment in Casablanca when the lovers let each other go. <gasps> <laughs> Some, <laughs> some 
I love the silent clapping. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that one. Um, now we're going to sing another song from another show. Oh, okay. Clearly all the great songs were written for musicals. Yes. This is Till There Was You. The Beatles actually recorded this one. And this was from The Music Man. Um, Till There Was You? Yeah. Um, this one was from The Music Man. Lots of other people recorded it. And I like the Beatles take on it because they do it as a rumba. The original in the movie is very slow. It's a very slow ballad. Oh, and but we um, gonna do it? we're going to do it as a rumba. Oh, we? Okay. Right. Yes. How is Mr. Music here today? Really, Scott. sure which company they were working for but anyway they would go to work and write songs and you had lyricists and you had um, composers some people wrote both but mostly there was the lyricist the person who wrote the words and the person who wrote the music um, out of this extraordinary um, melting pot of incredibly talented songwriters came Carol King and Jerry Goffin um, Neil Diamond and these people initially were just unknown songwriters writing songs for big stars like Dusty Springfield or you know Dionne Warwick or someone um, anyway so this one was written by Neil Diamond before Neil Diamond was Neil Diamond before he was hot August night yeah yeah so um, and it was recorded by the monkeys which was that really fun television show I think they should bring back the monkeys yeah when you consider all the things they've relaunched and remade that was fun. That show was fun. Do you guys remember the monkeys? Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. That's all I call That's right. Them. Hey, we're the monkeys. That's it. That's Keep seeing a monkey yeah. around. But That's we're going to be singing I'm a Believer, which was a big hit for them. Um, so I thought love was only true in fairy tales. <laughs> Oh, 
to the cup so this one this is one of those interesting songs is it here i'm thinking it's here close to you there it is oh there it is okay um this was written in 1964 by my absolute two favorites bert bacharach and the wonderful extraordinary lyricist hal david they really were some sort of extraordinary team hal was quite a lot older than bert they were sort of a bit of an odd couple really but but um, Hal just wrote the most stunning lyrics for Bert's beautiful sure. music and compositions. Um, so this was written in 1964 and not a lot happened. Um, Dionne Warwick recorded it, but it really wasn't a huge hit. And then in 1971, Richard Carpenter, the brother of Karen Carpenter, the other half of The Carpenters, um, he recorded it with, with The Carpenters, with Karen singing it, and suddenly it became this huge seminal hit close to you. And that was seven years after it was first released and first written. So yeah, any of you songwriters out there, there might be something in your bottom drawer that still has potential. Yep. What seven, do you think, Dave? Seven years later, <laughs> we're in. Seven years later, we're in. Okay. Why do boats suddenly appear? Every time you are near, just like me, they long to be close to you. Why do stars fall down from the sky every time? Moment in there, I but know. no one noticed. 
it's because no, no. consummate professionals. Oh. David Pritchard Hunt, no, Cassie Bartolome, no. consummate professionals, and I won't hear another word. Okay, I'm looking on here. Oh, well, this one. Do we have any Italophiles in the audience or Italian speakers? I know we've got Michael Galeazzi. He definitely, it's number 88 in here. Um, so this song is called Cuando, Cuando. And the, basically, you probably remember the English version. I sing it in Italian. I prefer it in Italian. But, you know, when will you be mine is what they're saying all the way through the song. And, you know, or when will you love me? And I actually, I have a personal philosophy on that. If you have to ask, you know, do you love me? Or when will you love me? You should be looking for love elsewhere. Because it truly is, it's something you shouldn't have to ask about. It should just, you know, it should be expressed. And yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're that confused, move on. So this is fun. I gave you this a little bit of life, a little bit of a life lesson, thrown in for nothing. What do you think? He's, no, he's completely like, it's insane. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay. Let, it's a samba, so I've got to count him in on it. Two feel. One, two, two, two. Okay. <laughs> French song number 57. Um, this song just never goes away. It's one of those songs that, no, seriously, because it was recently. It never goes away. It never goes away. Never goes away. Never goes oh, away. that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Oh, okay. Um, you know, it was recorded in that movie Star is Born with Lady Gaga, um, that very handsome Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Um, not that I noticed or anything. Um, and this song is called La Vie en Rose. And it's about seeing life through rose-coloured glasses because you're so in love with somebody. <sighs> ah! I've got a long memory. I've got a long memory. I remember what that felt like. Oh, stop okay. it. <laughs> Oh, 
je vois la vie en rose. Il m'a dit des mots d'amour, des mots des tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. Il est tombé dans mon cœur, pour ne pas te
Oh, <laughs> my fault. Hello. Sorry. I've been a bit of a train wreck, but we got there. Not a train wreck. It's the train was there with, no. with. And this thing's listening, listening, listening. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's all very good. Let's have a look at T42. Cool. Now, you said you've been playing this since you were. So it's only 20 now, so it's actually only oh, been playing it. for 10 years. Stop but um, T42 is number 30 in the Black Book. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a big hit for Doris Day, who is just awesome. What kind of people would you like to do on this? Wouldn't do This well, we were testing them. That's right. Them. That's true. Are you listening? Yeah. Yeah. And it was just pre-recorded, and every little bit's been, every little human error's been doubt. Mm -hmm. No, it's all happening right now. It's oh. Almost like we didn't rehearse. We did. We did. We did. Let's have a look at when you're smiling, because that's a fabulous piece of advice. More life lessons. Oh, it's here. But you could be telling me all the life lessons. Yeah. So just any old uh, introduction will do.
truth ain't that the truth now i'm looking at the songs we have left i'm thinking we should do, do I, do I, do I, sure Ooh, i need your love babe bit of beatles bit of beatles now that's a very good question that's 105 in the black book <laughs> so i'm giving you all the top tips yeah. where it's 105 I, I wanted to tell you about um eight days a week being chart number 105 because i wanted to let you know I'm <laughs> so choose braggery. Um, okay, this song's please sing along because you are so bound to know this one. I'm getting a thing that's saying my internet connection is unstable. Is that a problem? I'm hoping that my um, my um, technical crew are okay on that. That when I'm in too many troubles. Okay, let's do eight days a week. Mm -hmm. Go. to do what the world needs now sure is a love a sweet love have i got a number for that one um i think it's somewhere here have a look hey what the world needs now let's have a look it should be in the there we go that's oh, it did you see it oh well done you this was recorded by jackie del shannon Another Written by the fabulous Bert Bacharach and Hal David. Love them both. Um, Jackie's sort of, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, gimmick. Is she, was, so she was an English singer, but she would appear on stage in bare feet, which would have been very cold in England, I'm thinking. But that's very cool, isn't it? Just walking on stage in bare feet. I mean, nowadays everybody's wearing these impossibly high heels and and practically crutches to cope with the shoes they're wearing. But there she was, just, you know, long hippie hair and bare feet, singing what the world needs now. Hope you enjoy it. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing. Another meadow, there are cornfields. 
fun to entertain you. I really hope you've had a lovely afternoon hearing some of these really beautiful songs from the 20th century. I uh, really want to say a huge thank you, thank you for to me. David Pritchard Hunt who came and joined us today. I'm Cassie Bartolome. Huge thank you to Waverley Council, Michael Galliazzi and the team. Jess, thank you so much for everything you've done. And what I love about Waverley Council is very, very early on when COVID issue hit they just totally thought outside the box and wanted to keep culture and music alive for the people of Waverley so they were one of the first early adopters of Zoom and this we actually did this first one this time last year wow. so yeah so this is probably the 11th Zoom concert now there'll be another one with another fabulous performer next month and I'm sure you'll get all the information about that so every month there's going to be a performance for you to enjoy just sitting back relaxing in your own home with and singers to your front door so have a wonderful afternoon everybody and thank you so much for joining us <laughs> Thanks.